1971 yılında Erzincan'da doğdu. 1994 yılında Erzincan'ın İliç ilçesinden İngilizce öğrenmek için Amerika Birleşik Devletleri'ne gitti. 2005 yılında New York'a 250 kilometre uzaklıkta Norwich'te kapanmakta olan bir yoğurt fabrikasını satın aldı. Chobani adını verdiği yoğurt markasını işte bu fabrikada yarattı. Time dergisi tarafından dünyanın en etkili 100 kişisinden biri seçildi. Davos dahil dünyanın önde gelen düşünce kuruluşlarında çeşitli konuşmalara davet edildi. Bugün Amerika'nın yakından tanıdığı Hamdi Ulukaya tüm bu başarılara rağmen doğduğu, büyüdüğü, yetiştiği vatanını hiç unutmadı. Kendi yaşadığı sıkıntıları doğduğu ve büyüdüğü coğrafyanın insanları çekmesin dileğiyle yeni bir girişim başlattı. Hamdi Ulukaya girişimi işte böyle doğdu. Good afternoon in the US, good evening in Turkey and hello everyone everywhere. Welcome to the fourth demo day of Hamdi Ulukaya initiative. It is, uh, in fact, one of those days that I have to reflect. So for the past three years, this meeting would be occurring at New York University in the hallways of Stern School of Business. But for the reason that, that we all know, we are now live uh, online. We are trying something very unique today. We are actually at a studio in Turkey. All of our startup founders are in a hygienic space in Turkey in a studio and they will be presenting pitching their ideas from a studio. We are also for the investors uh, at a zoom call so that they can ask their questions and at the same time we are live on YouTube uh, so that we can share all these ideas to other investors in the future. So once again my name is Sal Chukshir and I'm a professor at New York University Uh, we've been doing this for the past four years, and this is the fourth meeting. I just want to give you a brief introduction to Hamdi Luka initiative before I let Hamdi Luka speak for himself. Let me start by saying that this initiative was started in 2017 with a specific goal that We have potential in Turkey. We want to bring that potential up in terms of social entrepreneurship and also bring the startups from Turkey to the global market. To achieve that mission, we have two specific programs. The first one is startup program. This is a typical incubator. The idea is not just in technology, but in every field, starting from agriculture to food industry to medical uh, sectors, identify the startups in Turkey that has a global potential. Each year we identify six startups and we bring them to the US the, so that they can be part of the US market. The second program that we have is called the fellowship program. This program is really dear to my heart because it's very special. Why? We identify young people with dreams. In many cases, this, uh, these young people do not even know that they are, uh, they are entrepreneurs. They have ideas, dreams, We help them to develop their dreams into a business idea. And at the end of this uh, journey for one year in the first initial phase, we hope that they would, could start their own startup. I want to give you some numbers. This program, Handi, Handi Ulukaya Initiative, is really one of the uh, top programs, programs, not only in Turkey, perhaps in the world. We have so far received almost 100,000 applicants. Last year was the record for us, 51,000 people applied for our programs. And application is at least one hour, there's video involved. So it's not that easy just click and apply process. And I'm so happy to report that we have huge response from, uh, from Turkey. Another statistic that I'm very proud of, especially as you know, International Women's Day is around the corner. More than half of our participants are women both in terms of startup founders and also in terms of fellowship program. So in terms of startup program, we have each year six programs. And remember our goal, our mission is to bring these Turkish startups into the global market. And I'm happy to report that 70% of our startups achieve that goal. I want to give you some other numbers. Since joining our, our program, 
the revenue growth was more than 400 percent one out of four of our startups are now incorporated in the united states 70 percent of them exported their products or uh, services abroad 90 percent of them and this i'm also happy as an educator 90 percent of our uh, founders are now serving as mentors and leaders in their communities to other startup uh, founders. And almost half of our startup founders, startups, receive funding investment from abroad. In terms of the fellowship program, remember this is the, this is the unique program that we identify young people with dreams and help them make their first startup or build their first startup. We have 40% in four years just four years, we have 40% success rate. In other words, they have founded their startups within the four year period. And if you give more time, you know, I would imagine this number would be way higher. And if you compare this program to other programs in the world, uh, this is perhaps one of the most successful uh, fellowship programs in that sense. Now, throughout the day, not the day, throughout the hour, we will have presentations only three minutes each from each startup founder and we will have a Q&A. So you will see at the bottom of your screen, there is a Q&A section. I want you to write your questions during the presentation so that I can pose those questions to the founders. Uh, at the end each of each, uh, at the end of each uh, presentation, there will be only two minutes period, but you can always ask your question afterwards. We will post all the, con uh, all the contact information. So that will be another way to uh, share your views, your feedback, as well as your questions. You can follow us on all social media platforms. I'm gonna pause here to invite my good friend Hamdi Ulukaya uh, so that he can share his views about the program. Hamdi? Um. Do you guys see me? Yes, we see you. Okay. We see Fenerbahce too. <laughs> <laughs> Always. And it's not only because I'm talking about Turkey or Turkish entrepreneurs. Fenerbahce is always here. And I want to uh, welcome everyone to a uh, fine hour. Um, this is a, a work of heart uh, that we had for the last four years. Uh, we do a lot of work, but this is this one is special. Uh, Selçuk and I, we had this dream a long time ago, is how we can help the young people of Turkey um, because we're both coming from Turkey and we had similar experiences. Uh, him being in the academic, me being on the, the journey of uh, uh, entrepreneurship. Um, we are very aware of potential of uh, young people in Turkey because of the culture, the land, the relationship, uh, history. And we also are aware of the Western world. Of course, we, we lived here most of our adult work, adult life. And how can we make that connection? How can we make that bridge? I'm always, um, you know, because of course bias, but I have this um, very, how should I say, uh, a deep belief um, that the land of Anatolia uh, in Turkey, it is, it is a perfect land for entrepreneurship uh, for so many reasons. And we see that now more than ever in the last three, four, five years um, that the companies are coming okay. up. Yes. Just, uh, there, there is a black uh, screen on the top of your camera. If you just put it down, just, in, just like half an inch. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Is, is this good? Um, and and we see the entrepreneurship in Turkey. Uh, it's got into an you know next level. Uh, the, the startups, the innovation ideas, um, companies are reaching out to global market. The internal financial uh, uh, you know environment supporting these startups um, and these startups getting uh, backing for international uh, VC. Uh, financial world has been very, very impressive. Now we saw that long time ago. I think we still have a long way to go, but I think in the next three, four, five years, we will see this going even beyond our imaginations when it comes to quality of companies, innovations, and uh, 
you know, entrepreneurship um, environment. So I would like to think that we have, our work has affected this. Um, and also there are a lot of others, you know, there are a lot of CEOs, um, other entrepreneurs, successful entrepreneurs in Turkey, um, academics, um, you know, uh, people who teaches, um, uh, you know, entrepreneurship. Um, universities where they have entrepreneurship uh, centers. Um, so they become a really a, a holistic uh, environment where everybody participates, where everybody help each other, where everybody, uh, you know, working for common gold. Um, I personally, because, because of my journey, I believe entrepreneurship, one of the best way to make change. Um, innovation, startup, looking at things in a completely different perspective, finding solutions and making it sustainable. This is the way, not only for US, not only for Western world, but everywhere around the world, including Turkey. If we are going to move our society forward, make things better for humanity uh, and, and, and create a better world for our children, these are the ideas, these are the seeds that we need to support. But at the same time, you know, it's business. Right, it has to be sustained. It has to make um, money. There's no shame on that one, and it has to have a, a very, very important reason behind this this startups, which is to move the humanity forward. And these were our glasses to look at these companies and these founders. And um, it was very, very hard to pick few because there's tremendous, tremendous amount of applications coming, and within that. You see the founders and the ideas and the passion, and how do you say yes to these and not to the others? So we we have been very very careful how to respond. That when we pick doesn't mean the others are not worthy. Uh, so we tr we we welcome all of you to look at all these applicants, even the finalists, uh, and the vast majority of them, I believe, are going to be very successful businesses and enterprises. I have started Chobani incubate, Incubation Center here uh, maybe six, seven years ago with the same idea. My idea was, what is the thing that I can give the most? And I thought giving experience or sharing my experience would be the most important thing. And we started Chobani Food Incubator. Um, it became very, very popular, uh, sought after. Uh, the reason behind that is to find these passionate food makers and entrepreneurs to come to Chobani and be with us for four months, five months, and go to all our um, footprints, whether plants and, and sales, uh, you know, offices, um, uh, creative sites and finance and branding and food safety, food quality, and go to outside like customers and suppliers and give a, a taste of what it looks like when you become a, a you know, big size company. The second part we said is create this environment where all the other food makers and entrepreneurs, like-minded food makers and entrepreneurs can stay connected and help each other, support each other and uh, work towards the same goal. It became extremely successful. I mean, uh, I'm very proud of uh, Chobani uh, Incubator uh, a community. In the end, what we said is this is not a gift, of course, this is our responsibility, but there is no string attached. We don't take any, um, how should I say, any stake on these companies um, or they don't owe us anything. All we ask and wish and cheer for is their success. And the same, um, same idea has been applied to these uh, initiatives. Hamdi Rukai Girishimi does not take any stake on uh, any of these companies. We are um, a supporter of these companies. Um, we are their, you know, uh, you know, emotional partner, I would say, um, but you know, physically we don't own any stake in these companies. Not that they're not worthy. We just wanted to make sure that it's clear. We just wanted to make sure that it's pure. We just wanted to make sure that there is no other than communication than other than cheering for their success. These companies that are about to make presentations are very unique. Their founders are very, very, very passionate, smart, uh, good people. And they have been working on these ideas for a long, long time. 
Um, you know, I have I know the environment of entrepreneurship in the U.S. and I know the entrepreneurship environment in entrepreneurship in Turkey. It's the same tone, but it's a little bit different. So in Turkey, you have to be three, four, five times stronger, pas more passionate, um, more patient, uh, and you have to find solution even um, harder solution than than here. And they they they kept going, and it's it's unbelievable the the. The, the level of uh, strength that these founders have. Ideas can shape, ideas can go up and down, left and right, but what I pay more attention to is mostly is the founder. Are they, the, the, are they the right ones? And they are in the right wave. And I think you will find that these people are in the right founders in the right wave. And our initiative is not the only one supported these, uh, these founders. Um, you will find them to be supported by you know, innovation centers, other, st uh, other uh, startup entrepreneurship centers and universities, and some of them also some other industries. Uh, and they got some financial and some, uh, some board level. They are, um, they are representations of uh, where Turkey is going to be uh, in next decade, in my opinion. Um, some of them are gonna be very, very successful. Um, I have some ideas which ones are gonna be, but I just don't want to say which ones. Um, because all of them are going to be. Um, so four years passed, like, you know, I don't know how to say, strange year this year. Uh, normally we would do this in a very large gathering in New York uh, where everyone, you know, personally can meet and, and have a feeling. Um, I hope that those days will come back. But this also works. You know, we see a lot of deals being done this way. <laughs> you know, IPOs are being done this way. Fundraisers are being done this way. You know, schools are being done this way. It's not the same, but we kind of get used to it. Um, and when world comes to normal, uh, we haven't made our, you know, our pro plans yet, but I hope that we can continue and we can continue to get together uh, for in the US or in Turkey and celebrate entrepreneurs, celebrate entrepreneurship and, and continue to uh, work on this, uh, this, this road. So I will, I will uh, let the founders and the companies to speak by themselves. Uh, Sergio gave the numbers. We are very, very proud of you know accomplishment that we have until this one, until this, until now. So I'm very proud of the team, um, Hatime and everyone uh, that who was involved with this and worked tirelessly. Uh, all the support that we get from our friends and our mentors, which most of them here in the U.S. That time that they spend in hours and and days and dinners and and, and Zoom calls lately. Um, this is not just me, or this is not just Sergio, uh, or or this this team. It became a, a community, a community where everybody can come together and participate, um, and help, and learn, and share, and move humanity um, and society forward. So I'm extremely proud of this. Um, really, we never thought this would come this far, uh, uh, but the, I'm most proud is the quality of the program. Uh, the algorithm is developed on this, how people apply, how companies are uh, selected. Um, it's probably one of the most democratic um, and, and, and, and, and, and probably the algorithm that is put together is, is the most um, fair way of selecting um, entrepreneurs and, and, and the companies. I think the always thought the education is important. I think the, the, the metropoles are important, but um, we cannot um, keep our eyes off from rural areas. We cannot keep our eyes off from uh, people from the life, not in the university environment. So we put all of that together. But just like Sergio said, uh, having 50% uh, or over sometimes women entrepreneurs participating in, even though we did not try to do it that way, and by the way, that was the same way with the Chobani entre uh, entre uh, incubator. It's very encouraging. Uh, uh, and, and these are very strong leaders, very uh, innovative leaders that we have. So, so many ways to be proud of, but I will let the founders to speak. Um, and I congratulate all my colleagues and my friends um, uh, uh, coming to this far. And it's just the beginning. Uh, so the journey is continues. So all the best. Um, and Yashef and Abash.
Okay, teşekkür ederim. I, I made the same mistake before. Uh, thank you so much, Hande, for, for your uh, participation, passion for Turkish incubators uh, startups. So we can now start. We are going to start with Alia. Uh, this is a very unique 3D company, 3D printer company, subscription-based 3D company. Uh, they are going to present their uh, idea by Ahmed, the founder. Ahmed. So thanks for the opportunity. Uh, I'm Ahmed, uh, founder and CEO of Alia. I'm also father of two. And uh, as our kids grow, uh, we have experienced a very painful problem. So which is uh, 21st century kids are being taught by 20th century adults using 19th century curriculum and techniques using 18th century calendar. So uh, this was really a big problem. And uh, the solution to this problem is that a, a unstructured and personalized education system, which is very expensive and not feasible to apply to all children. So uh, we have made Alia. Alia is made by uh, parents, for the parents. Alia consists of three elements, uh, a 3D printer, a mobile app, and stage-based joyful learning projects. So uh, how you use this app is uh, that you open the app, you cho choose the project according to them, uh, age and development stage. And then with one click, you print, it, print the material, you use the material, you build it, you make it and you play with it. The children play with it, they, they do experiments and all. So what children see on the app is level by level progress. Uh, so when they uh, finish a level, they uh, continue to another level and they get badges, they earn badges. Uh, so parents see the development stages and development reports. Uh, we provide 3D printer for free. Uh, basically our revenue model is based on subscription. When you subscribe to the app for $29.90 per month, uh, we provide 3D printer for free. Uh, we also sell cartridges and uh, we have also in-app purchases for uh, non-printable non materials. Uh, probably you've, you've noticed that uh, everything made for children is around uh, three categories, which are learn, play, and make. So we are in the middle of those. And we think that we believe that we are going to be a category maker. We have a highly skilled and experienced uh, team. Uh, we also hiring in the United States as well. Uh, by the way, we are talking, uh, the principle, in principle, we have agreed our CTO, which is uh, MIT graduate and uh, ex-Google. Uh, so I will expand in United States as well. So uh, until we, we got the first proceed uh, investment for on uh, $2 million valuation, uh, we were manufacturing 3D printers for different market segments and we were selling them. We made uh, close to $1 million revenue on, on that model. We have a growth in Turkey. We've sold to, to Minister of Education, Minister of Health, Minister of uh, Industry and big companies and organization in, United, in Turkey. And it is time to expand in uh, USA. So 
what we need is $2 million to expand in the United States. We are incorporated in uh, United States. Our uh, headquarters in, is in New York, uh, but we are manufacturing 3D printers here in Istanbul. Uh, thank you for listening. Thank you, Ahmed. Uh, I already got one question. Uh, can you talk about your customer acquisition strategies? How do you plan to reach out to your customers, especially in the United States? Well, uh, we have indirect competitors. Thank you for the question. We have indirect competitors uh, who, I mean, we are target customers are uh, now using uh, subscription boxes uh, and uh, toys, learning toys, new technological learning toys, teaching toys. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, reaching to their customers because in social media and uh, in other platforms, uh, they also gathered, they already gathered those customers. Uh, what we provide is better than them, more personalized than, than them, because uh, a five-year-old ch child uh, might have uh, seven-year-old kids uh, cognitive development or uh, eight years old kids emotional development uh, our competitors cannot provide uh, personalized uh, items so we can provide personalized items and we are cheaper than them okay uh, so uh, two, two other quick questions one of them how do you uh, what's the customer support uh, network you built for the us do you have a live support or any support that's one of the questions well, uh, of course, we have a support uh, for hardware. It's a, it's it's a, it's a problem. The uh, giving the service after sales service is a problem. Uh, to solve that problem, uh, when a customer have an issue, uh, we change the three uh, D printer because the value is not a three D printer for us, uh, and the cost is very low. So a pr printer uh, is broken. Uh, we just swap it with a new one. It's the content that you provide more than the printer, right? Uh, I couldn't get you about, sorry. It's the content, because I, I know that you have more than 100 experts in Turkey developing content for the printer, 3D printer. Uh, I, I, I couldn't get the voice. I'm sorry, I couldn't understand the question right. as well. well. Thank you so much. Uh, we, we are actually out of time anyway. Uh, but if anyone has, uh, have other questions, they can direct it to Ahmed, uh, whose uh, contact information is in the, in the chat box. You can get the contact information email there. Uh, next, we are moving to Arkim. Arkim is a research-driven food Thank preservative you. company. And the founder is Liv Finger Reis, who will present her company which by the way is recognized as the second most innovative startup in Turkey this year. Hi everyone, today I will talk about Arkim's new generation life preservative. My name is Elif Günger Ries. I am co-founder and CEO of the company. I have experience of selling food additives more than 14 years, and I am still a PhD student in chemical engineering department. And our other co-founder and chairman is Professor Dr. Muzaffer Yaşar. He has more than 30 years experience in the industry. Old generation chemical food preservatives 
can give harm to our immune system. And at last, they can cause cancer, unfortunately. You can easily see that nowadays people are looking for healthier food. They demand clean label ingredients and clean label food products. As Arkin, what we offer? We offer a new generation of life preservative made of natural calcium. We use natural calcium and it is full approved by all food authorities. It is clean label and all natural and it patented technology. We have a natural food preservative, which is for industry in these big bags and for B2C for home usage to wash vegetables and fruits as like this package. Our products are approved and used by Pledis Global, who is the biggest food manufacturer in Turkey. And our another product is for, is for bakery, which is again a natural food preservative and a clean label product. Our another product is vitamin C, which is, which is stomach friendly and includes calcium. Soon in the market, we plan to have a calcium supplement and a drug for kidney patients, which will regulate phosphate level in blood. Our sales model in our B2B products are based on resellers. We work with resellers in Turkey, in Asia Pacific, in Middle East, and in Europe. For our B2C products, we work with Amazon Europe. We have 3D patent application. Almost our Japan, United States, and Turkey patents are granted. And we took support of Singapore IPI, and we have best academic patent ever of the year. I can easily say that we have increased our revenue only in five years from $5,000 to $72,000. And our target market, market size is about $300 billion. Last year, we have taken investment from Yildiz Holding and Santa Ventures. We are looking for more investment to getting our market and expanding our capacity. Thank you for watching. We preserve life. I love your model. We preserve life. I actually used your product. I got it from Amazon. Um, uh, it's now available in the US. Uh, yes. So there's one question. Uh, can you talk about the production process a little bit? How do you produce this, uh, this unit? Product? Yes, yes, I can talk. It is a special process, which we purify calcium in a special method with uh, high pressure and with uh, inert gases, because it is very dangerous uh, heavy metals can be contaminated with calcium. We avoid of this. This is why we have a patent technology. It is almost food grade and it is a clean label product. There is another question from Dr. Behice Ilhan. Uh, she's actually a very well known uh, branding uh, professor and uh, expert in the field in Chicago. She says, How do your products align or integrate with the popular food regimes like? Keto, vegan, paleo diets. Yeah, uh, with our special process, we remove allergen part of uh, calcium. This is our technology. So I can easily say that uh, vegetarians can easily consume our product. We almost remove all parts of organic parts uh, of the calcium. I can easily say that. Thank you. And I'm sure there are other questions. Once again, in the chat box, you have the contact information for Elif. Uh, you can contact directly to her through the email or just email us, we will connect you. Thank you, Elif. Uh, Thank next, you so much. Uh, we move to another agricultural um, uh, business, uh, a biological fertilizer. Uh, Atakan is the founder. The name is Agricade. One of the first startups we recruited in 2017, and uh, one of the success stories of this program. Atakan is next.
Hello everyone, I am Atakan, founder of AgriK Biotechnology. We are clean farming revelation. I'm an agriculture en engineer. When I was at university, <clears throat> my research topic was yield losses. When I studied the reasons for yield loss, I saw that the main reasons are soil pollution and arid soil. Because farmers are using chemicals to pro private the yield loss. But soil is becoming more polluted to these chemicals. It's a vicious circle. More chemicals, more yield loss, more polluted soil, less and less healthy <clears throat> food. And we are researching eight years. After that, we found the alga cell. We are solving this problem. Alga cell is a plant growth stimulator produced by algae minerals. Alga cell has living cells that stimulates natural process to enhance nutrient uptake, crop quality, and yield. Alga cell improves the quality of soil and growth at the same time. Alga cell cleans soil by absorbing the chemicals through algae minerals, while the transfer to uh, uncontaminated soils to crops. And you can see the algae cell effects from this picture. You can see the difference on leaf, on root, and the body. This is the, our amazing show. <clears throat> and this is our agrochemicals industry. Our industry is growing very fast in the world. And also now the world has a very big problem about the COVID. Now world understanding the, our industry. <clears throat> this is the, our sales figures. <clears throat> So far, and this is the RSS projection based on your current pipeline. <clears throat> we have uh, two competitors globally. Both are based in Europe. Our main differentiation in our production technology. Our cost is half than our competitors. This is the very, very important. We have been already exporting to more than 20 countries now. We want to be in US and Latin American markets. We are looking partners who can help us on our global expansion. If you are interested, please contact me. Join us. Join the clean farming evolution. Thank you so much. Thank you, Atakan. I'm always impressed with Atakan. You know, he, when he joined in 2017, he didn't really speak English, uh, but he was ready to present in English like today. Um, so questions for Atakan, uh, Agrique. All right, there's one. Um, can you talk about your customer acquisition strategy uh, for your target uh, markets, Atakan? Uh, to, I'm going to translate this for Atakan. Müşteri nasıl kazanacaksın diye soruyorlar Atakan. Hocam, Türkçe mi konuşayım, İngilizce mi? Nasıl istersen. Türkçe konuşayım, rahat anlatayım. Tamam. Uh, our English uh, Our strategy for the uh, finding the customer, uh, we know the, our power because uh, our algae cell content is two times is uh, high than our competitors, and our cost is half half is uh, the, uh, down the our competitors. This is the step one, because if I wanted to explain to example. Uh, they are selling per liter five euro in the in the Europe market, but we are selling two euro because we are <clears throat> doing this business. Uh, and uh, you check the, our sales. Uh, this year is growing the around seven or eight million dollar. And the second, uh, we are uh, doing the uh, we are cleaning the soil and affect the soil and the plants at the, the same time. This Atakan, is the, our difference. Atakan, geri dönüş oranı kaç? Yield impact'ı soruyorlar. Efendim hocam? Can you, geri dönüş yani ürünü uyguladığınız zaman, uyguladığın zaman nasıl bir geri dönüş alınıyor? Effect, etkinlik ölçüsüne. Ha. So there's a question, is there any cost advantage of using, actually that wasn't the question. You we are. I, I I will I will I will explain. Uh, I will explain to, about, for example, the middle Middle East in Iraq and 
Egypt market, we saw the university test. We checked 15% uh, to 40 percentage is high yield, step one. Step second is uh, 20 to 25 percentage is growth the quality of the, the fruit. Mm -hmm. And the secondly, uh, our another uh, market, we saw the just a three days, four days inside effect in the in the plants, our products effects in the plants. This is the very fastly in our business. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. There are several questions for you, Atakan. Uh, but I, in the interest of time, I really hope that all those with questions could directly email Atakan, who will be more than happy to respond to each question. Next, we are moving to Dormio. I'm sorry, Deveji. Uh, Deveji, you all know Deveji because his video of the first, uh, Deveji is a turbine company, micro turbine company, uh, renewable energy. And you have seen the video, but you don't know him. So Deveji is next. Kerem is going to present his uh, idea, his startup. Hello everyone, this is Keran from Project Enlil. Enlil is the vertical axis wind turbine project that transformed the highway into the renewable energy sources by using the wind created by the vehicles, as well as natural wind. The energy we produce can be stored in the batteries or can be sent directly to the grid. Uh, we can power the uh, street lights, traffic signs from the road, and energy will consume at locally. Uh, this eliminate the transmission losses and increase the uh, local power access equity. We tested our first prototype in Istanbul and then we improved our product. We built a much more efficient and uh, looks more beautiful product. The traditional manufacturing method was so expensive and was so uh, slow. Then uh, we invented new manufacturing method and developed world first uh, mass produced wind turbine blades. The land, uh, landmark technology here that uh, all wind turbine blades can be produced with mass production method. This method will be the first in the world and it can be made uh, cheaply in the large numbers of the uh, turbines and uh, replaced rapidly. Our international patent uh, process still continues. Uh, we want to do the wind turbine industry what Henry Ford do to the car industry. Uh, the business idea of using the wind turbines on the roads uh, is not yet uh, exist in the world. We create a brand new business model. The micro uh, grid market size over the $17 billion, but good news, market still growing. Uh, we have an excellent and international team, uh, Sarp from Holland, uh, Dr. Colin from the uh, University of Dublin, and Kemal uh, from the Polytechnico Milano. Uh, also, there's a, three engineers in the uh, our team and Doruk background from the Simons. Uh, with our new technology, uh, also we become a, a member of the Forbes uh, 30 under 30 Europe list. Enel uh, is a joint product of the SMEs, academy and industry. Uh, so Enel won the Mercedes-Benz startup competition in the technology category and then we become partners. Uh, they open to us their network and their know-how. Also, Mercedes-Benz CEO, Mr. Sulun, is our uh, team as a mentor. Uh, also, we are in cooperation with the Oxford and RIMOD, the company which we developed the blades together. 
uh, we have to minimize the risk uh, by partnering with the uh, companies le leading le leader company in the industry. Uh, putting one video on the online and we were able to generate uh, 10 of millions we have around the world and people start to uh, share our video. Um, maybe uh, you have made uh, seen our video on nine gig cheddar world economy forum forbes etc uh, people share our passion and they uh, start to share our uh, video in everywhere because people really want to change the world and we want to share our product with the world because of them we are seeking uh, for the investors or uh, strategic partners also uh, remember uh, renewable energy is not a luxury it's a necessary thank you Thank you. I have two questions. Uh, what are the installation and maintenance costs? Uh, installation costs about the cost of the product? Yeah. Uh, 5K. But it's the, it depends, it depends I, to the customers I, because of them. There's a two of them, the uh, style of the uh, turbine. One of them, the off grid, and another is the on grid. Uh, actually, it depends to the customers. I see. And how much power does it generate in terms of kilowatt per hour? Yeah, okay, great question. Uh, actually, I have a the backup slide, but uh, one turbine uh, produces two kilowatts per hour. Uh, and what does it mean? Uh, for example, we want to illuminate the, the highways. And uh, for example, one lightning pole, uh, we use LED lights, and uh, it's between uh, 80 and 100 watts. Uh, one of them can illuminate minimum 10 of uh, illumin, uh, 10 of pole uh, uh, it's a, a it's a half kilometer one uh, annual can be generated half kilometer of road wow okay well there are other questions but again in the interest of the time I'm, i have to move on but please uh, direct your questions to to Terem. the email address is on the screen uh, next, we are moving to Dormio. Uh, Dormio is a medical startup, uh, very, very innovative uh, product, a novel, comfortable mouthpiece device. Uh, we will hear from the founder, Sepa. Hello everyone. Did you know that 1 billion people worldwide have trouble breathing during sleep? This common health problem is called sleep apnea. It is caused by airway obstruction due to collapsing tongue or jaw. The short-term consequences are loud snoring, daytime sleepiness, and low sleep quality. On the other hand, the long-term consequences are since we spend one third of our life sleeping, sleep apnea causes people to develop more serious health problems such as hypertension, cancer, or diabetes. Although there are many working solutions in the market, they share one common problem. It is very discomfortable to use, and half of the people stop using their complicated treatment option in the first year. After seeing this issue, we decided to develop a solution that people can actually use. Dormio combines the working principles of the current solutions into one product, it's minimizing the side effects while being comfortable and efficient. We already proved that Dormio is more preferred than the competitors. We have conducted two-stage clinical trials. In the MRI study, 
the airway volume increases have been observed, then we moved the sleep study and proved that dormio reduces the number of apneas and snoring for mild and moderate sleep apnea patients. The company has all necessary certifications for medical production and our US patent has been recently granted. My name is Sefa, I'm the founder of Respa Gadgets and our team consists of two biomedical engineers doing PhD and we have field experience more than 10 years combined. We also have valuable medical doctor advisors contributing to the team. We are selling our solutions online via our website and uh, in retails via pharmacies. So far with 50 euros of sale price, we sold more than 3,600 units in 13 countries, which generated 150,000 euros of revenue. Our target markets are Europe and USA, and the total addressable market size is 50 billion euros. We recently, we are working on turning our current solution into an IoT data collecting device, which will be a game changer for the industry. We are a startup with the mission of improving life lives through better sleep and now it's time for us to scale our business we know so because our unit economics are positive and most importantly users love the product our return rate is below two percent while the average return rate of competitors are more than 20 percent to achieve our goals we are raising seed round of 500,000 euros and milestones are expanding sales to germany and the netherlands and also, we would like to initiate our FDA pre-submission. If you believe our vision of providing better sleep, we welcome you to be our investor team and be part of our advisory board. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. And thank you for listening. I'm ready for the questions. Thank you, Sefa. Excellent presentation. So you're looking for half a million dollar. What do you want to achieve as your next milestone with this amount? Uh, so far, we are we focused on uh, reaching to product market fit in Turkey, and we sold thousands of product in Turkey. And we would like to expand our sales to Europe first because the product has already have CE mark. And then, by in the meantime, we will apply to get the FDA approval to enter the U.S. market. And there's another question. Uh, what performance metrics are you tracking, such as return rate, net promoter score, et cetera? Sorry, can you repeat the question? What, what performance metrics are you tracking? For the returns? Yes. Uh, when, when we check the, our competitors, we saw that there's a paper written about the return rates of the oral uh, appliances. And when we calculate by uh, looking at our sales numbers we are below two percent which is great uh, in our perspective and for the treatment efficacy we are uh, very effective for mild to moderate sleep apnea patients perfect thank you so much Sefa. Uh, next, we are moving to for farming this is a modern micro farming company very innovative i have used their products in turkey and also here in new york uh, back, the team member will present uh, for farming. Esteemed participants of Hack Demo Day, my name is Berk Topçu, 
and I've been working as the business development responsible of For Farming for over a year. Today, I'm here to present you my company. For Farming is an agritech startup founded by Levant Atlas and Vehbi Yurdakurban, both of whom have master's degrees and years of experience in their areas. We are a dynamic and multidisciplinary team who strive for a better future. As you may know, the world population is increasing rapidly, but our food production output is decreasing due to the climate crisis. For this reason, we need to switch to more efficient and more sustainable farming methods to feed humanity. However, they require complex technologies, expertise in multiple fields, and high initial investments. We tackle this problem by applying the smart technologies of Industry 4.0 into agriculture. By using our cloud-based IoT software, we can remotely connect to the existing hardware at any farm in the world and automate them without requiring expensive systems or any prior technical experience. This enables farmers to easily monitor, analyze, and optimize all factors that affect plant growth and achieve higher yields, better quality harvests, and save resources at the same time. The total market for our product is valued at $152 billion today, and it's projected to reach $182 billion by 2025. We have a B2B software as a service business model and our subscription prices range from $65 to $350 per month. As all companies, we have some competition. However, our ultra flexible connectivity and our independence from on-site automation systems set us apart. We were originally founded as a hardware provider company in 2019, where we built indoor farms, uh, installed on-site automation systems, and developed small automated farming units to be placed in luxury restaurants, and retail stores. We generated $630,000 of revenues with that business until the third quarter of 2020. In the fourth quarter of 2020, we transitioned into the SAS model to deliver more value faster. And we've launched our product earlier this year. Since then, we have acquired 70 customers and we have many more in the pipeline. Our current MRR is $7,500 and our revenue forecast for the next five years is $82 million in total. Right now, we are looking for $1.2 million investment to cover some of our globalization, HR, and R&D expenses for this year, and we've already secured commitments for over half of that. I thank you all for your time, and I'm looking forward to answering all of your questions and hearing your comments. Okay, we have a very interesting question, uh, rele relevant for the US. Uh, can for farming tech be used for cannabis farming in a hospitable climate such as Canada? Uh, absolutely, yes. Our technology can be applied to any type of plants because what we are essentially doing is measuring the environmental values with a range of sensors and controlling certain devices to optimize the, the environmental factors to uh, grow the plants in the most optimal settings. So we can uh, use this technology to grow basically any plants. And we are already discussing with uh, some cannabis pro uh, producers for potential partnerships. Great. And why is for farming a better solution? What are the competition uh, out there, especially in the US market uh, that you differentiate yourself from? Mm -hmm. Thank you for the question. So basically, legacy automation systems uh, cost from 60 to 200 or even uh, more uh, $200,000 uh, to automate a greenhouse. What we can do is basically um, use some widely available uh, hardware that can be ordered from Amazon or even bought from Walmart, which costs uh, way lower than $1,000 and use our cloud technology to basically do the same thing. And because our technology is cloud-based, we can do all of the integration remotely and enable our customers to uh, measure and control their facilities remotely too. Thank you so much. Uh, Thank you. Last, uh, we move to Certifier. This is uh, a, another very innovative company, Smart Certificates, uh, which is going to be very, very essential going forward for anything online, really. Arda will present a Certifier to us.
Hi, this is Arda, founder and CEO of Certifier Incorporation. As Certifier, we believe the way to create sustainable education goes through educational data analytics. So when we began our journey in August 2018, we focused on a simple and single problem. Certificates should have been the greatest tool to let us understand the skill sets of individuals, and they failed to do so. In order to overcome this problem, we developed Certifier application the application that has given its name to the company. So Certifier is an integrable certificate and badge management tool, which allows K-12s, universities, corporates to create and share their certificates and badges and collect data analytics. Where we are with Certifier right now, we already reached more than 12 countries and distributed more than 1 million certificates and growing the application rapidly with 33% each and every month. Along this journey, we realized a greater problem. Learning cannot be assessed. Why? Because 75% of daily learning takes outside of our classrooms. We read this blog from HBR, Forbes. We watch this video from YouTube, but we do not know what we learned. In order to solve this problem, we developed Verified Mobile Application. So Verified is a skills-based and AI-backed micro learning application. How you can use the app? You simply download the app, select one of your skills, and the rest is on autopilot. App brings you daily creation based on your skills. And once you start your consumption, it directly reflects your progress to your living CV. How we make money with Verified, we offer it for free, but some features are premium. And in order to reach them, you need to go subscribe on a monthly basis plan. We are targeting the ad tech providers market, and the initial countries are the US. UK and Canada. And the initial serviceable market consists of LinkedIn users who are located in the very same countries. And of course, there are direct competitors. We have the upgrade with our greater technology, with our AI usage, and the verification tools, which are really crucial for the education data analytics. Where we are with Verified right now, we already reached more than 1,000 daily active users already just in two months with the inclusion and implementation of these distinguished 11 members of our team. And we are willing to enlarge our operations in the countries that I mentioned earlier with our third investment round as the seed plus round. And we are looking for $300,000 for this round. If you are willing to collaborate in our journey, we are open to meet with you. Thank you for having the time. Thank you so much. Uh, you know, as, as somebody who is a professor in an online environment now, we recognize the importance of uh, credentialing. So I think you will be a player. But this is a very crowded field. How will you differentiate yourself? Uh, Hujam, firstly, good afternoon. Uh, for two different products here, there are two different markets that we are focusing. For certified, actually, there are not many of users in the market right now, only 18. And we are actually located at the top of them as you two states right now. For Verified, it's a brand new application and direct competitors are creating the crowd. But what we are doing here, we are differentiating from them with the business model since we are offering for the end users directly, which is the first time that's being tried by an application here, by a startup here. And of course, AI usage is something that is really crucial in the century in this year. And now, can you talk a little bit about your go-to-market strategy, especially in the US market? Uh, can you please rephrase the question, Hojam? I'm sorry. Can you talk about your go-to-market strategy in the US? Of course, of course. Uh, there are two different channels that we are directly using. Uh, the first one is the organic side, of course, and the inorganic side. The organic side is being supported with Certifier since we are distributing daily more than 10,000 certificates to the recipients and recipients can directly verify and use those certificates inside verified application. This is a great channel. The inorganic side is being populated with Google Ads, Facebook Ads, influencer marketing. Of course, micro influencer marketing is a great tool that we are using right now. And at the end of the day, professors like yourself, Hojam, you can directly advise your students to use this application. And since that we all know the universities and K-12s located in the US are willing to use applications for learning for free, this is the offering and the greatest market strategy that we are planning and directly applying right now. Thank you so much. I really expect high uh, returns for your investment here. Uh, Thank you, so Ajay. 
that really uh, completes our program. We are right on time. I want to turn to Hamdi Ulukaya for the last uh, uh, words. Hamdi? Uh, you have to unmute yourself. Thank you, Selchuk. Um, this one hour passed really fast. Uh, as we said in the beginning, these are very impressive companies, very impressive founders. Um, lack of language like mine should not be uh, uh, considered as lack of uh, passion, knowledge, and opportunity and, and future. Um, and I'm very proud of my, my brothers and sisters who are, they are in Turkey. Um, not only what they accomplished, but staying on the course working tirelessly, building a team, uh, not only for Turkey, which is an amazing market, which has massive amount of opportunity, but also make it relevant for, uh, for international markets. So I'm extremely proud um, and we'll continue to support, we'll continue to be friends, we'll continue to uh, make meetings like this. Uh, the, the, one of the team of the, uh, the initiative is, it doesn't start and end. It starts and continues uh, for a long, long time. Uh, this is uh, being in the same uh, same community uh, for a long time. So when they come to US, uh, when we go to Istanbul, uh, we are family now. Uh, and of course, we will support them in any way we can, uh, uh, just like what we did today. So I hope that you find these important. Um, and after seeing this small three minutes introduction, uh, it's, it's, it's almost impossible to not to be impressed, but I think there is uh, details uh, can be shared and, and looked after. Uh, so uh, I hope that this was, uh, you know, very helpful for investment community, very helpful for people to get involved. And I hope that this was helpful for my brothers and sisters who are the founders of this amazing company. So I want to thank Selçuk. Of course, without him, nothing would have been possible. Uh, Hatime and uh, Erkutuja and everyone who is involved at the initiative. Um, this is another, you know, another good moment. So looking forward to the future. Thank you so much, uh, Hamdi, for, for the, your support and inspiration. I uh, want to also recognize our production team. This is a first for us. Uh, we are now live on YouTube and we will also have a, a, everything that's presented here available for uh, investors and others. We will make sure that there are more people uh, receive all this information because we think there's a good story here. I want to thank Dougal Clark, who is located in uh, San Francisco, uh, Silicon Valley, who has been working with our team uh, to make this presentation possible. Like Hamde said, Hatim Oluka is managing this program at Chobani. Oran Bahtiyar is in Ankara. Onur Tureng is in Istanbul with the founders. Thank you all, guys. Erhan Erkut uh, is in Istanbul, who has been supporting us from the beginning. Thank you, Erhan Ojan. And thank you, everyone, for your participation. Have a good day. Hamdi Ulukaya bir girişimci. 1971 yılında Erzincan'da doğdu. 1994 yılında Erzincan'ın İliç ilçesinden İngilizce öğrenmek için Amerika Birleşik Devletleri'ne gitti. 2005 yılında New York'a 250 kilometre uzaklıkta Norwich'te kapanmakta olan bir yoğurt fabrikasını satın aldı. Chobani adını verdiği yoğurt markasını işte bu fabrikada yarattı. Time dergisi tarafından dünyanın en etkili 100 kişisinden biri seçildi. Davos dahil dünyanın önde gelen düşünce kuruluşlarında çeşitli konuşmalara davet edildi. Bugün Amerika'nın yakından tanıdığı Hamdi Ulukaya tüm bu başarılara rağmen doğduğu, büyüdüğü, yetiştiği vatanını hiç unutmadı. Kendi yaşadığı sıkıntıları, doğduğu ve büyüdüğü coğrafyanın insanları çekmesin dileğiyle yeni bir girişim başlattı. Hamdi Ulukaya girişimi işte böyle doğdu. Müzik